From Los Angeles, I'm Brad Lamack. Welcome to you wherever you are on the World Wide Web joining us for this edition of Inside the Business of Acting. Sometimes I really would wish that they could be here <clears throat> just, be just before because it's it's like the Oprah after show. Sometimes what happens before or after. But we did get to experience it. We did. We did. It was brought us closer. So to who cares if so who they're cares here? Like, right. right. Welcome. Happy to have you with us. Today we're inside the business of acting with, with one of the industry's foremost character actors. I, I'm delighted to welcome to our coffee chit chat. Basil Hoffman. I, I'm so glad to have you. Th thank you for doing this. Thanks for inviting me, Brad. A and I'm also delighted to be able to tell people, I mean, not only does your work speak for itself, um, Basil is the author uh, of this book that I love. It's called Acting and How to Be Good at It. And we're going to talk about this today. And what I love about this book is that it's um, a combination of how to for um, the student of acting, and, and guess actors always, you always need to be a student of acting, um, but it, it's enormously um, also a part me memoir, which really tells your history, your story, it and is, it informs is, the answers. It is, it is partially a memoir, and without the memoir, there'd be no book, mm -hmm. because the book is only based on my observations, my experiences, and not only is it a book that I think, it's a textbook, definitely, but it's not just how to, because it's also how not to. Uh, almost because more I, important, really. In, in a way, but yeah. because I not only mention the things that have worked for me and things I've seen that work, I also spend a lot of time in the book talking about things that I've seen that don't work and why they don't work. And also when things work, why they work. Mm -hmm. I think it's a book not just for actors uh, and not just for people in the business, although I think writers, directors, cinematographers, editors, anybody who interacts with actors and the work of actors would do well to read this book to understand what the actor does and why he does it and how he does it and also to understand how actors can cooperate with them mm -hmm. if they allow it. Right, when the process works the yeah. way it's supposed to. Well, we have time together, so we're going to get into all of this um, during our, our conversation. What is extraordinary to me about your career is that you have worked with an amazing collection of Academy Award winning directors and, and one of them, Sidney Pollack, who, who recently passed, wrote the foreword to, to your book. What, what yes, he was did. that what was <coughs> that like for you to get Sidney to well, it, it was, do that? It was remarkable and uh, a surprise for me actually. When I wrote the book, uh, I include in the book a lot of directors, a lot of actors writers. And sometimes I said things that were truthful, my observations, but I wasn't sure that it would be okay with those people if I said them. So I sent copies of, of the draft before it went to publication. I sent one to Woody Allen, I sent one to Steven Spielberg, to Ron Howard. I'm Sidney sorry, Pollitt, I'm not familiar with Redford. those names. Do you have any uh, names that we're familiar yeah, with? Yeah, <laughs> well, th 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 those actually are the best known. Right, if I gave right. You <laughs> But I, I sent copies to all of these people, to Christopher Walken, yeah. just to be sure that I, the things I said were okay. And they seemed to be okay for everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I got okays, people called me and said, Basil, it's fine, or I got a call from uh, an assistant or a man or somebody who said, it's fine, it's, yeah. it's just fine. Or a note, a letter, I got a letter from Redford uh, saying that it was okay to use something that I had asked if I could use. Mm -hmm. One day I get a phone call, and the voice on the other end of the line says, Basil Hoffman? I said, yes. Sidney Pollack on the line. Ah. And Sidney gets on. He says, Basil, he says, I've been reading your, uh, your um, manuscript. Mm -hmm. He said, it's very good. He said, but on page, I don't remember the page number, mm -hmm. but he said, uh, Basil, on page. He says, I have a problem. He says, I know I said it, because I quoted him. He says, I know I said it. Mm -hmm but it sounds so bloody arrogant. Oh my. Now Sidney could have said, don't use it. Yes, sure. But that's not Sidney. Sidney said, how else could we say it? Mm. Classy guy. So I gave him some options. He said, yeah, either one of those would be terrific. Yeah, you, I just feel better if you did that. Right. Fine. Uh, he it's said, a remarkable endorsement. Really. Yeah, yeah. And, and, he, and he said, let me read the book. He said, I'll give you something. 
for the book. Mm -hmm. He says, I like it, and, but I want to read the whole thing. So then I get, uh, I get a call one day from his office saying, do you have an email? Mm -hmm. Sydney has something to say about your book. Mm -hmm. And it's the best four lines anybody could ever say mm -hmm. about any book ever. It sure is. Well, I don't want to give it away. No. You, gotta, yeah. you want to know what it is. You, right. Yeah. Right. Y you um, have had and are having really a remarkable, a remarkable career. I mean, the, the whole life, livelihood, and, and career of a character actor is really different than any other kind of profession in the business of acting. Uh, because you have to, I think, be more of a chameleon than anybody else ha ha has to be. Do, do you see it that way, or is there not that much analysis in, in that process? For uh, you? I think there's not, there's not that much analysis in the process for me, because I'm not an analyzer. And anybody who reads the book will know that it's very straightforward. And by saying all of the things that I say in this book, I uncomplicate the process, because the actor becomes so involved in the material mm -hmm. that acting is extra, would be extra, would be time consuming, it yeah. would be an imposition on the work because there are only a few things that an actor needs to do. Like what? Like what do you, like what, what are you, what well, does Basil Hoffman well, well, do? Well, well, well the, the, first, the first thing that an actor has to do is accept the material. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I say in this book, and I said in my previous book, uh, Cold Reading, How to Be mm -hmm. Good at It, there are two things that an actor must accept about every script that he picks up. And that is? Number one, it's the best script ever written. Whether it is or not? It, but it is. It is. And number, oh, and, and, wait, wait, can I just stop you <coughs> for a second? Absolutely. So, so you, you make it the best script. Because, yes, yes. I mean, the truth is it's not all, maybe yeah. it's not. Yeah. You know. the, the, but, but let me, I'll, I'll yeah. give you a little. The best script ever written, number one. Okay. And number two, it was written for me. Mm. So in the first instance, there are no defects in the material. Now, that doesn't mean that an actor can't read a script and say, there's a problem of logic here, and maybe it was lost from one draft to another, and I have to mm -hmm. call this to somebody's attention. But in terms of finding things wrong with a script, what, happen what an actor will do is he'll read a script. If he's not doing this correctly, he'll read the script, mm -hmm. and he'll say, that, that doesn't, I can't do that. That doesn't, doesn't work. So that's something that doesn't work. Hmm. Then he'll find something else that doesn't work. Then he'll find something else that doesn't work. So he's sort of setting himself and up. And then he will start to say, this is not very good. Mm. This is a terrible piece of work. Then he's going to do a terrible job. Wow. But if, 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 he, if he sees the good stuff in it, the possibilities mm -hmm. of truthful work, then he will elevate himself and he'll elevate the material to that standard. I remember a quote by a great character actor, I think he won four Academy Awards, Walter Brennan, mm. once said, they don't pay me to make a good script look good. So for Walter Brennan, who did great work every time out, Every script was a great yeah. script because that's the way he had to approach it. And he knew that if he was just going to be hired to do the good scripts or the scripts that somebody else thought were good, he'd only do three jobs in a career. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because how many, how many scripts would there be that would live up to that standard? But when I work, or when Walter Brennan worked, not that I'm comparing myself to Walter, but any actor who does really good work sees the qualities in every script he picks up. And I'm not a good critic. I am not a good critic of material. Well, the truth really is, and this comes right out of your own resume and biography, every script <clears throat> is not a My Favorite Year or An Ordinary People or Electric Horseman or Or All uh, the President's all Men. All the President's Men in which you played remarkable, memorable roles. So, yeah. I mean, I, I do see the, the, the benefit, the advantage, and the, the philosophy of that. But what I'm curious about is how do you, 
How did you get there? I mean, did you, what was your own process? I mean, did one day you sort of said, no, oh, I've been in this business a long time. There's something, like, like how did that, how did it dawn on you that, that this had to be looked at differently or that there was a way to approach this differently than, than you had been doing it? There actually wasn't a process that made me think how I should approach it. But when I started to do seminars and then started to teach, I started to have to explain what I do. Oh, so, so up to that so point I you really hadn't... So I didn't change yeah. what I did, but I got to the point because of writing and speaking that I had to explain what I do in simple terms. And what I do is simple. I'm not a psychological person. And acting isn't about thinking, and it's not about psychology. It's about finding what the character needs and how the character achieves it. And what does the character go through? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a non-method method, really. It's a, no, it's a non-method method. And I, I tell people that acting is not easy, but it's not complicated. And they don't understand that. And I compare it, not that they're the same, but I say it's com it, I can compare that to being a doctor. Hmm. Being a doctor, becoming a doctor, is not easy, but it's not complicated. Right. I can tell somebody how to become a doctor. Yeah. No, that's you, I you, agree with that. You go to school, you take all the required courses, and you make straight A's. Then you get into a good college. You make straight A's in that college, and you'll get into a medical school. You do well in the medical school, you'll graduate, you'll do an internship, you'll do a residency, hmm. and you're a doctor. Sounds not complicated. No. <laughs> not complicated, <laughs> no. but not easy. Right. But if right. you know what you need to do, then it's, it uncomplicates the process. Young actors spend a lot of time, and a lot, even experienced actors, confusing themselves within, and turning themselves inside out. And I don't think it's necessary. I think actors just have to have clarity in the way they approach the material. Also strikes me, that, as you say that, that um, I agree with that. I think acting is easy. Maybe the complicated part uh, is the other layer, which is the business of acting, that that's really kind of the harder part for people, creative people, good actors, to um, grasp and to make a part of their, their lives in order to have the rest of that career that is easy to do once you get to that point. And, and as you know, it's hard to even get them to accept that they have to do that work. At least the acting part, they're open to accepting the fact that they have to do that. But when you start to, ex and I know because, because I have coached actors individually, and, and I, I will coach actors on the business, I'll coach them on acting, and I don't even like to coach on the business because actors want to find out how it's easy to do. It's not easy to do. And when you make those phone calls, and if you're making cold calls, you have to sit at that table and then your palms start to sweat, and you have to do it, but you have to do it. I remember a great writer years ago was asked, how is it for you to write? And some person who was not a writer asked, asked that question. You know, how hard is it? And, and he said, well, how hard would it be for you? And the person said, you mean to write? And the person said, uh, uh, he said, yeah. And the person said, for me to write would be almost impossible. He says, well, that's how it is for me. Hmm. That's how it is for the writer, too. Yeah. And, and to do the business of acting, which you know well, and that's your book, The Business of Acting, it's difficult. It's really difficult. But at least you give them guidelines. Well, thank you, because yeah. I think they need all the help that they can they get. Do, they do. From all of us. But, but, what you you can't, you, what, but what you can't do is tell them how easy it's going to be. That's true. I'm not telling you how easy it's going to be. In fact, what I am going to tell you <laughs> but, is that we're talking with the incomparable character actor Basil Hoffman, who's author of the book Acting and How to Be Good at It. And we have to break away because we have to, it's, are we selling anything? No, we're just breaking away because that's what we do on the World Wide Web. Well, you, you'll, we'll do it another segment. Will you stick around for segment two? Because when we come back, <laughs> we'll yes. refill our, yes. we'll refill our <laughs> why not? What else? Do, well, the meter is paid. I'm here. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we come back, we'll have some more fresh coffee here. Uh, and, and I want to talk about your personal career journey and, and some of the most remarkable roles that you've played in the most memorable roles and I have to talk about you know two of my favorites are 
Principal, Principal Dingleman from Square Pegs, uh, and the role in my, my favorite year. So, come back with us. We're inside the business of acting with Basil Hoffman. And by the way, you can learn more about Basil and his book through a link on the resources page at thebusinessofacting.com. You, you'll be here. You'll stick I'll around. I'll be here. I'm Brad Lamack in Los Angeles. Thank you. We'll see you in number two.